Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and we're back with another weapon comparison video for the Light of Folia Incision or Miss Splitter, depending on which one you clicked on. Or perhaps you uh, only have a Black Cliff Longsword and you want to upgrade to a 5 star weapon and you want to determine which one is better for your account. This video will answer all of that for Ayaka, and I've already done other videos, for example, a comparison like for Kerching and stuff like that. So do check it out on the channel if you are interested to figure out more characters on what this weapon can be used for. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So now that we've seen the numbers and comparison between all of them, most of us already kind of like intuitively knew that Miss Peter was going to outperform because of his high base attack for an attack scaling character and also all of his substats play into Ayaka's strengths. But I would I would say that the Light of Folia Incision is actually significantly better than a 4-star Black Cliff Longsword and also it played a pretty decent comparison against a weapon that was meant or Ayaka's signature weapon. This weapon, and one important thing to note, is that it doesn't matter whether your character skills with HP, attack, or defense or even EM, all of the characters that will that are damage dealers and are sword users can use the very very massive 88% crit damage and 4% crit rate. And it's really a, just a very versatile weapon to have on your account. So while it might be clear that Miss Spitter outperforms for Ayaka, a character like Kea, for example, who can actually use Bennett in a melt team, will actually migrate the area because you can actually make up for the attack gap between the two weapons. So we're going to be testing on that right away. And also we want to be testing on Ayato, who scales a little bit more with HP versus Ayaka or Kerching, to see how the new weapon performs versus, for example, a Miss Splitter or even Primordial Jade Carter, which has HP in the substats. And do consider liking and subscribing if you appreciate such straight to the point content yet also very timely. Today is just the first day, barely 5 hours into the game's 3.4's release. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.